You want Fall Out Boy to be in the conversation. Right. If not in the Pantheon, the right. conversation to get into the Pantheon. Totally. So something like that where you're working with, you know, where you're obviously, you know, can't, Mark Ramon's not going to get on stage with fucking Nickelback. <laughs> so, and if he did, both of them would be punched. You know, we did this band for a long time, you know, before we really were adults and then as we became adults, but we like never have done the band as actual, like if you had had a conversation with us, you know, like five years ago or eight years ago, like we were like adults, but like kind of like diet adults, you know what I'm saying? Like, so to come back and do it as adults, it's been interesting because like the, um, the reason that the band, I think kind of one of like one of the big reasons that the band kind of slowed down last time or like we needed to take a break was like the monster got too big and then it just got out of control and like there's you know everybody who's in any band like rock band that wants people to hear their band wants the monster to get really big but then like it's destructive you know what i'm saying like it's it just it's like the nature of like you build it up and then it's destructive and like this time we i think we know we know because there's not like a like a handbook on like this is what you do when like you know like when you're in Australia and and, and no one's talking to each other and you only want to talk to the managers and you want to like quit everything like like this is what you, like th there's there's not a manual on it but I think that having been through it before we at least um, we at least know maybe some of the wrong turns not to take like we want to take you know like do it but like you know like take this time off but then it's like oh but like this thing came up and this thing came up and it's kind of like yeah, you know, like that. I mean, like it's like it's the. I don't know. It's it's super goofy to listen to like dudes in rock bands like complain about stuff like that, you know, or whatever. It's just like the least relatable thing. Um, but I think that at the least we know that we need to be do whatever we're doing that's keeping us away from home. Because it's like I have a four and a half year old, you know, Patrick and Joe are married. We all have, you know, like lives you know or whatever um whatever we're doing to be away from that has to be important like it ha we have to be doing important things it can't just be big it can't just be like money it can't it has to be like something important or else you know and something that's actually furthering the goal of the project of fallout boy or else it just it doesn't make as much sense to do you know to me it's been about everybody having a good experience like in the crowd before it was kind of like let's make sure the floor is insane and people are like just murdering each other and stuff and now it's been more about like you know everybody in here like we do this every night but everybody in here like this is a break from their job their normal routine so like let's make this special for everybody in here and that i i think like we probably like did that some before but it wasn't as active like we weren't actively thinking about it kids should still be coming to these things and having like like some some kind of transform transformational experience. Like we played with you know Marky Ramon the other night. He's like, I'm gonna go check out the Ramones. Like I feel like that at the point in our like quote unquote career is like where we're at as a band. Like we're never gonna be like a Pitchfork band. It's just like you know like it's not something we strive to be. You know or whatever. Or like a band we you know like where like other bands are like oh you know. But I feel like we could be kind of like a gatekeeper band. We could we could kind of like lead people into some other stuff that they, like, you know, other bands they wouldn't have heard of otherwise. Pop culture seems like it, it moves so much, like, I mean, it's always moved fast, but because of the internet and how globalized it is, it moves, so, like, lightning fast, um, which is, I guess, good and bad. But uh, I feel like um, we're at, like, such a weird spot in our career. We're not in the upper echelon of bands that are, like, where it's like, oh, those guys just, like, I don't even know if they put out music, but, like, everybody loves them and they're kind of, like, always thought of in this you know, like, rock band kind of way. But then at the same time, like, I don't feel like we're, like, the baby band anymore. So it's like we're at this, like, weird in-between moment. Maybe Metallica has now, like, heard the name Fall Out Boy. I would have guessed that they're, like, not familiar with our music or they're, they're not calling us to, like, come over to, like, the the Metallica playground to hang out with each of them or whatever. You know, like, I just feel like we're, we're, like, at this weird... It's like a big growing pain, you know, like, we're... This whole thing could still be a fluke. One of my own personal problems that, like, you know, like, just is what it is, and I think that this, like, actually led, like, aggravated the situation towards taking a break is that, like, it's just never enough. It's, like, none of it's enough, you know? Like, it, 
that felt awesome, but it's like, what's, what's the next thing that we're going to do, you know? The meaning of life. Man, I don't know. That's like the, probably like the one, I don't know. Pizza. <laughs> this conversation's been